Terrence, what, how much emphasis are you placing this year on uh, putting the ball on the ground when teams try to run you off the, the three-point line? Um, I think that the game is, you know, even though this is my ninth year, it's still every year is starting to slow down a bit more. So um, I think just playing whatever, just, get, just taking whatever the game gives you. Um, I know a lot of people are going for these pump fakes. Um, they're expecting, you know, me to just to shoot everything and then kind of trying to run me off that. So that kind of gives me an advantage to kind of, you know, react off, you know, whatever they do. And uh, right now I'm just making the correct plays, correct reads. Um, and uh, it's just flowing right now. Follow up, Josh. Yeah, thank you, George. Uh, does shooting a little bit more often off the dribble as you are now require a different type of workout regimen in the off season? Um, a little bit. I mean, I, you know, shooting off the dribble is always something I, I've worked on. And um, I think now it's just the fact that I'm starting to put it all together. Uh, I'm especially, you know, going to the basket and trying to drive a little bit more. It's kind of opening everything else up. It makes the game a lot more slow for me. So I don't, I don't have to just shoot every time I could, um, you know, make a play for somebody else, drive it, you know, do whatever. But for the most part, uh, yeah, I think, you know, uh, it's always been a part of my game, and I'm just starting to use it more. Dan Savage, OrlandoMagic.com. Terrence, what did you see as the keys for your group down in that fourth quarter stretch where you guys were able to to pull away from the Wizards? Um, just getting stops. Um, it was a close game, you know, about halfway through the fourth. It was going back and forth. And I think any time that we can get stops and we can make our defense, you know, do the majority of our scoring, it helps. So, you know, what I mean by that is just pretty much – Anytime we get stops, we could we play very well in transition. Uh, it makes it easier for everybody else. We don't have to get into plays. We can just get up on the floor, get in the pace, uh, get in our motion, and, and just score that way. So uh, I think it was a defense. Dan, you have a follow up? Yeah, during that stretch, you know, just how good was the playmaking uh, from a number of guys, but but specifically uh, Markel, both you know attacking downhill and then creating plays for others. No, Marco's been phenomenal at putting pressure on the defense. He gets into the lane. Um, it's not too many guys that can get to the lane and then make a play. Um, a lot of guys try to get in there and they try to score, do whatever. But Marco can get in there, finish at the rim, uh, right or left hand. He had an amazing pass to Vooch um, behind the bat, so he could see everything. Um, his vision is is you know elite, um, and his craftiness. His craftiness is something that doesn't get talked about a lot. He he's so crafty with the ball. Um, and the way he plays is it allows us to just get into our spots and just to to not worry about, you know, if somebody's going to see us or not, because, you know, you know, as soon as he makes that defense collapse, you get to your spot, Kel's going to find you. So um, he's been phenomenal for that, you know, and uh, it's something that we need. Josh Robbins. How gratifying is, is it just to see him be successful considering all the stuff he endured his first two years? Man, come back, come back, King. Um, I mean, everybody counted him out, and you know he he stayed faithful to the grind. Um, man, he put his time in, and you know he deserves everything that's coming to him. And uh, he's he has a lot more room to get better, man. He's he's still young. He's still gonna get a lot better. The way he's seeing everything, the game is slowing down so much for him. Uh, he's gonna be a phenomenal player. Back to Dan Savage. Uh, Terrence, you guys are in a situation now where you'll be playing the same team in the same city in less than 24 hours. H how do you approach that period of time to, to get ready for another game against the Wizards? Go back to the room, ice up, and just get ready for tomorrow. Easy. Josh Robbins? Terrence, the last time the Magic started a year 2-0, and it was the 12-13 season. Uh, how encouraging is it to to your team, to you and your teammates to start off like this? Um, it's good. It's uh, it's tough to start off, you know, two and zero. But um, I mean, we just trying to take the, the steps in the right direction. Uh, we have a lot of things we can get better from. You know, there's a lot of things that we want to do. You know, that's even that's going to help us out even more, especially in the defensive end. But uh, we have the right mindset right now, and uh, I think we're just focused and we're just trying to get better. Any other questions for Terrence Ross? Okay, thanks, T. Ooh, Thank you.